All right, sports fans, here I am outside. Uh, actually, maybe I should raise this up a little bit so you can see me. Hey, how about that? All right, so I'm out uh, out back of the house here. Hopefully, I can uh, have enough fresh air that the uh, lovely wife of mine won't smell any of this foolishness. But uh, here's the plan. I'm, I'm fighting daylight. I'm doing this after work, so, um, you know, it's September. And uh, the days are getting shorter by the literally by the minute but in any case the uh the plan is to let's start doing some dope in here i'm gonna start with the um the sig nitrate dope um and i'm going to put on a few coats of that uh i'm going to start with actually i think i'm gonna try doing both of these wing pants uh what should i do what should i do i wanted to use one with sig and i wanted to use one with the um the Randolph. Since I'm going to do this one with that and the stitch, I'm going to use this on the SIG on this one. I, I may use SIG on a half of this and use the, the Randolph on the other half so I can do an immediate comparison, but we'll see. But in any case, the plan is to use the SIG nitrate um, and, and put a few coats on and um, and let that um, start to, to tauten, to tighten. Um, and then come over that with the butyrate to seal it and, um, and and be done with it now I'm assuming you can see that there and here but you can see the weave I'm not using any sealer um, to to seal the weave I want the weave to show through if I wanted a nice smooth like glass surface I would need to use some sanding sealer um, some filler um, you could even put some some talcum powder and about 15% or so inside the nitrate dope and um, use it to fill in the weave, but uh, I'm not going for a, a mirror-like finish uh, as far as the surface goes. I want I want the weave to show through, so that's what I'm going to do. Alrighty, so let me tilt that back down because I think you might want to see some of that. So um, don't know if you need to shake it or not. Uh, one one thing too, as as a um, reminder. Caution, butyrate dope cannot be put over nitrate dope, but nitrate dope cannot be applied over butyrate. Did I read that right the first time? Let me tell it again. Butyrate dope can be put over nitrate dope, but nitrate dope cannot be applied over butyrate. And hopefully you can um, see that on the camera there too. All right, so let's have at it. Um, I think actually, yeah, I'll do SIG, SIG brush, the nitrate, and then I'm going to do SIG, um, brush the butyrate and spray the butyrate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the plan. That's the plan. I knew I had a plan. All right. Okay. Actually, since you are already there, I'll set you on top. All right, so I'm going to apply it strokes um, cord-wise. I'm not going to go span-wise, uh, go cord-wise. One thing I forgot about, I was reading on an, um, uh, another application uh, document, and they were saying there's any, if there's any noticeable grain to go parallel to the um, to the leading edge or the trailing edge. Um, I'm not really sure if I can see one here or not, but I think I do, and I think in my case, I am perpendicular, so eh. Well, we shall see. We shall see. I'm sure I don't need to brush this wide, but it's what I had on hand, so I'm gonna use it. All right, so I'm just gonna brush. Probably going to end up with multiple coats on. Trying to get this fully and evenly wetted.
can probably hear some of the flora or more so the fauna in my backyard. My yard backs to a wetlands so we get all kind of critters literally. We've had fox, we've had raccoons, this is in Maryland mind you, suburbia. We've had um, coyote actually. Yep, I have a half acre lot here and we look out the back door, the patio, and we could see a coyote walking across the yard. And I called up animal control and they said, well, sorry, we don't deal with non-domestic animals, meaning they only deal with like dogs and cats. They told me to call the DNR, Department of Natural Resources. So I called up DNR and I explained the situation to them. And they were basically the guy was like, well, what do you want us to do about it? And I'm like, I want you to come get rid of this here coyote. It's like, nah, sorry. We don't, you know, we don't, we don't mess with wild animals. <laughs> I was a bit skeptical. He said, in any case, you know, coyote probably won't bother you, but if he, you know, is a nuisance, just go and spray him with the water hose. And he'll most likely just run away. And I'm like, yeah, right. And you're going to be reading about me in the news. In today's tragic event, man mauled by a coyote while trying to give it a bath. Film at 11. Because he was wearing his GoPro at the time. Okay, I'm trying my best to wet this without going over it too many times. I'm thinking I'm going over it too many times. I'm brushing it too much or I'm wetting it too much. I don't know, but that's why I'm doing this here. So that I can, I can learn, I can learn myself something. Yes, we hear you birdie. I don't know what kind of bird that is, if you can hear it. Maybe one of you ornithologist type. Oh yes, that's the red ruby breasted. All right, I'm gonna shut up now because I'm thinking I'm gonna try to do some fast forwarding on the video, so yeah. Okay, let's do, let's do the bottom. <laughs> 